Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's so very nice to see you again. In today's video I have traveled maybe 70 kilometers south of my hometown and here the, the spring has progressed some more so it's a lot less snow, it's a little bit warmer and I'm here at a small nature preserve. It's a stream that runs through the, through the woods and it's a really nice one and I'm just gonna take a walk. It's no more than a kilometer on a pathway that follows the stream. And uh, I'm hoping to maybe see some wildlife and hopefully I'll get to take some nice landscape photography shots. So yeah, okay, are you ready? <laughs> Let's get going. In spring, light finally returns to Sweden. I don't know how I managed to record video in, in winter because there's maybe three or four hours with light in the day. And I always feel so stressful when I want to take pictures and you know record a lot of video to complete a video to show you. But now in spring, I got so much more time. I can really relax, I can stand here for maybe 10 minutes and just watch this really beautiful landscape. So, oh, it's so lovely when the light returns to Sweden. Okay, so I found my first composition and it's right down there in the stream. And the frame is divided into two sections. The right side, the water flows a lot smoother and slower. And then there is a transition in a diagonal across the frame. And the water picks up speed, almost like a, a tiny waterfall. It looks a lot more busy. And I think it looks really nice with those two areas and, the, and that contrast between them. And I'm ready to take the shot. I'm at 100 millimeters and I'm experimenting a bit with uh, shutter speed. Right now I'm at 1 tenth of a second, but as I said, I will experiment and see what looks best. I'm at F9 and ISO 64 and I will probably cut off the top and the bottom of the frame and make a panorama. And I will also try with and without a polarizer and see what looks best. And if it turned out to be good, here's the shot. so peaceful and tranquil here in the forest and in the area where I'm at right now the water flows a lot slower and it's a lot calmer here and I guess half of this video will be video clips of just beautiful nature <laughs> uh, I hope you don't mind that some people call it b-roll but for me everything is a-roll <laughs> if that's even a thing everything is so important I take video clips with certain things in mind. I wanted to be aesthetic and almost as if I took a picture of it.
really enjoyed that walk through the woods and along the stream. My stress level dropped quite a lot actually. But I didn't take so much pictures. But the good news is that I'm going to spend the night here in the car and get up early in the morning and visit another uh, part of this nature preserve. So yeah, I see you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning everyone. It's a really cold morning <laughs> and it was a cold night as well. I didn't sleep so well. But it's really nice to be on location. Just step out of the car and be on location. It's really nice. And right now I'm like 500 meters away from where I was yesterday. And at this location it's pretty much the same la landscape. So I can't really find any inspiration here. So I decided to go back to my car and travel about 10 kilometers closer to the, to the coastline and see if I can find some more interesting compositions for today. This is the same stream from earlier this morning, just closer to where it meets the sea. I had a look around, climbed a watchtower, but I couldn't find anything interesting. So again, I changed location. I found this place whilst driving back home. The last and final location for this video. I realized that lately I have taken a lot of images with the telephoto lenses, but I really do enjoy some landscape photography with wide angle lenses, like this one, the 24 to 70 zoom lens. So I'm just taking a walk in this beautiful woodland, but the sun is a little bit too hard, so it gets patches of light in the <laughs> on the ground, so it doesn't look so nice. But I'm just experimenting a bit with compositions and more, more of an exercise, so I don't forget how to take pictures with a wide-angle lens. <laughs> so yeah, this is the last thing I will do in this video. I don't think I will find any nice things to photograph here. It's just nice to take a final walk before I go back home. Just walking around, I stumbled on a composition that I quite liked, and I captured the shot handheld. This is the end of the video. I'm really glad you tuned in this week. Thank you for watching and ah, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Okay, bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>